Yo, it's saying no one's on here. <laughs> I guess I can wait then. Hey, 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 can you hear, can everyone hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Peace, peace, peace. Let me know you can hear me, yeah? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I thought they totally blocked it because the title was so, the title was so charging, you know. So, hey, everybody. How's everyone doing? You survived? You got the notification? <laughs> it's it's good. It's good. So, please put a handy dandy like. Well, don't put a like until you like the topic. I don't like you doing a disingenuous like. You shouldn't just like me because you like me. You should like the topic. So, if you like the topic, if you like the things I discuss, then you put a like. I don't want fake likes. I want likes because you genuinely enjoy the topics. Okay? So check on in. See the blue skies today? Yeah. It's a rarity we have blue skies, right? <laughs> hey girl, Jamaica, what up? What up? What up, Jamaica's in the house? Book, book, book. <laughs> book, book, book. Come on in, y'all. Hey, AJ. How you doing, love? Okay. Hello, my lovies. Chattanooga's in the house. Tennessee, I know you guys got hit, so we're going to talk about what they did to you because the weather wars are real. <laughs> Is so and so a fed? You know, I can't, you know. I, you know, I know many of you remember the prediction I made, and it wasn't my prediction. It was about the South Carolina and the Carolinas being hit with those geoengineered storms. So we'll kind of talk about, hey, on's in the mother freaking house. Baltimore, Georgia. Hey, so we're going to talk about that prediction that was made um, by the Intellis, and the Intellis got it from the Dark Cabal. So that was definitely a geoengineered storm, allegedly. Okay, so we'll talk about that. I'll wait until we get to 500 so we can start. I know I saw the bio plant, and that wasn't the only one, Queen. It wasn't the only plant. Right before the geoengineered storm, the uh the storm of mass destruction that was 540 miles long you do know there were two other explosions that happened one was in um some part of texas i forgot the name and there was a part of uh uh um also ohio uh, ohio again so definitely there's some chemicalization. We're going to talk about the false flags. We're going to talk about the geoengineered weather as opposed to the pole shift, which is also going. So let me just put my, um, my greatest condolences for everyone in North Carolina and the Carolinas and Florida, Tennessee as well, who had lost their homes, um, who were uh, a victim of your governmental systems sending geoengineered storms towards you. And I, you know, it's my opinion, and it's just an opinion. I would sue the heck out of the federal government. But, you know, that's allegedly if it is them that did it. But you know what I think. Okay, so we'll wait until we get to 500. Um, so today we're going to talk about the pole shift. They, hey, hey, Del Marche. We're going to talk about the pole shift. We're going to talk about the, the bioengineered mosquitoes from hell. <laughs> We're going to talk about the, um, the, uh, the NPCs, you know, um, that are, you know, basically coming out of the, they're, they're going to be, some of them are being deleted. Okay. And what else were we supposed to talk about? We're going to talk about the fake moon, right? The fake moon that they told us was going to show up and never showed up. I guess the Chinois didn't have the technology up, up and running. So I guess they're, they're delayed. <laughs> <laughs> um what else what else i said we're going to talk about in the title all right so come on in and you know the prediction was correct and i wish it wasn't correct and it was not my intel y'all it was the intel i was delivering from a young lady um who talked about that south carolina the carolinas was going to be hit the hardest with geo and one of the biggest geoengineered hurricanes ever and it was going to take out the coastlines of florida now when i told you this a while ago she said it would happen on the 15th, but, you know, I put it on the calendar. I talked to y'all, or maybe I told the Zumbies. Maybe I told y'all and the Zumbies. You know, sometimes I give you things and I don't realize. I just tell everybody. And um, so I, 
I told you that this young lady had made the prediction, but she didn't make the prediction based on being psychic. She got the inf intel from the dark about the bastards of mass destruction. So she got it from them. But I put on the calendar and I kind of warned my zombies about it, right? And it didn't happen on the 15th. So I was like, uh, okay. But a storm was brewing. But lo and behold, guess what? It came 10 days later. Okay. And uh, they had some stuff brewing in the sky. So I'll wait until we get to 500. We'll kind of discuss the topic. Okay. I hope everybody's doing well. And I want to send my, again, my deepest condolences to a lot of the people um, who have lost some of their lives and homes in, um, in, unfortunately, the Carolinas, Florida, Tennessee, even Utah was getting it. I mean, it's ridiculous, okay? Yes, because of the lithium deposits in North Carolina. That's why we know it's geoengineered. You know what I mean? You ever watch Avatar? Remember Avatar? They had all that stuff under the, the tree. Awa? 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 Was it Awa? Remember under the tree in Avatar, the Awa tree? And it had all that wonderful deposits underneath that, you know, the, the, the colonists wanted. And what did they do? They bombed the heck out of the tree so they can get access to that, to the deposits. Okay? So, um, unfortunately, your Willy Wonka systems don't love you. you. They have no loyalty to you. And um, I hope you know this. I, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But if you trust in any Willy Wonka system, you are foolish. And you will be led down a dark, dark road to the concentration camps that they have ready and waiting for everyone. Okay? So... Um, we'll wait until we get to 500 and then we'll start the topic of discussion. Um, so I hope everybody's okay. Um, you know, so much is happening. It is a beautiful blue day, but you know, I'm living, you know, practically outside the zone a little bit. So, you know, it's like the, uh, it's an old 70s movie. Some occultist told his assistant to give them lithium to keep the spirits from either attaching to him when he astral traveled. Oh, interesting. Miss uh, Cassiopeia just said something interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Well, yeah, uh, Delmache mentioned that did it go through the, uh, did the storm go through the Trail of Tears and the Sundown Towns? And also that young man that was hung. Remember the uh, delivery guy? The melanated guy who was hung. What's his name? Um, remember the young man who was hung and they couldn't figure out what happened to him? He was a delivery man in, um, what was it, in North Carolina, right? Yeah, so unfortunately, I think it might have hit the towns. Now, remember, you can only receive what you're in alignment with. So you do know, hey, Jumanji, you do know that when things, when things, Oh, he was hung. Oh, thank you, Marcus. He was hung in Henderson, North Carolina. Okay. Thank you, Marcus, for sharing that. Um, okay. We'll wait until we got a little bit more to 500 and then we'll start. It's unfortunate. You know, I think um, it, it's, it's kind of laughable that they would even tell people that this man hung himself. You know what I mean? It's just... It's just amazing the lies that they make up. And while you guys are obsessed with Sean Combs, and let me say this, Sean Combs is a front. I, I hope you know that he's on every channel. They got Jaguar Rice on, um, what's his name, show. It's so, it's so laughable. They're distracting you while they're doing all of these laws. They have sleeper cells all coming in. Um, everything is a lie, y'all. And I hope that you understand this so that you don't get your feelings hurt. It's like, you know, when you, your girlfriends tell you that your dude is a piece of garbage and they tell you because they love you and it's not because they're trying to hurt you, but they know what's coming down the road and they tell you this, it's either you accept it or you don't, or you stay and you just stay blinded to the, to the false narrative that your vote is going to mean anything. It is a selection. It's all a selection. It is all a lie. We are in a simulation. The reset is about to happen. Some of you will wake up. Some of you will be recycled back into the, the simulation to go through another cycle. Okay? So I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> I mean, you can have fun while you're here. I'm not saying you should be, you know, I'm not saying you should just, you know, lie down and just roll over until the time is up. I'm saying, you know, if you know that it's a simulation and you overstand and understand what this is, you can actually have fun in here. And don't take everything so personal. 
because it's really not, okay? So, I mean, if you're sitting here doing paperwork because you're trying to be sovereign, you're under my control. If you're sitting here thinking that your vote is going to make a difference and that either of the candidates is going to do something for you or for yours, you are under my control. If you think that there is a difference between different countries that are heading in the simulation, you are under my control. If you think Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior, you are under my control. If you think Muhammad is coming down here to give you 1,000 virgins and, um, and that you are going to be in everlasting heaven, you are under my control. Okay. If you think that Chinese food is still good for you, even though they use tap water with little um, insects inside of it, little amoebas, you are under my control. Okay. I'm just saying. We got a couple more until 500 and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm not dissing anybody. I'm not dissing anybody. I'm just saying, break yourself out of your illusion, your disillusion. I mean, if you keep, the deeper you keep into sleep and the more apathy you have in this, in this simulation, you're going to have more issues. You can have fun. You can have fun. But you really have to take in consideration that this is all a psyop. The whole, the whole simulation is a psyop. And if you think of all the greatest video games that you've ever enjoyed then you can participate in this really just with a, a level head, okay? Because the game, we're in a finale. So congratulations for everybody who's in the finale, okay? And I talked about, and it was totally, you know, I came up with the fact that uh, all of the so-called Mandela effects are updates. And that's why when the update happens, which you perceive to be a Mandela effect, it just is an update in the simulation. That's why everything changes, books, names, everything. Oh, we're at 500. All right, y'all. Mark the time. We're at 13.05. We're going to start the topic. Peace to the east, west, and north, and the south. This, again, is Flibroom coming to you today with numbers, uh, with a, quite a few topics of discussion. Check on in. <laughs> Do you imagine I've said that for so long? Anyway, so we're going to talk about the pole shift um, and the um, simulated program, the geoengineered weather, the mosquitoes of the bioengineered mosquitoes. Um, we're going to talk about the simulated people, Exodus. And also we're going to kind of talk about um, the fake moon that has still yet to show up uh, because the Xinhua failed at giving us another false uh, a false uh, celestial fixture in the sky. I don't know if their project didn't work. Maybe they just didn't have the proper technology. Maybe those spy balloons didn't really give the right proper measurements, but uh, what have you. So, <laughs> I heard a sound. Okay, so let's talk about the pole show. So, many of you understand and understand if you've been with me for quite a few, few years on YouTube, you understand that I have talked to you and spoken about the pole shift for over 15 years, um, talked about that during the time um, after reset, well, it's it's kind of part of reset, to be honest, um, we would go through a ge um, geomagnetic shift, a pole shift, where the magnetosphere would shift and it would change its polar, um, its po po the magnetism would change, so it would flip. Okay, it happens all the time. Um, it's if you see records and old maps, you'll actually be able to record the fact that many of the geo, um, the geo storms that happened right before the pole shift, all of the all of the uh, different ley lines shifting and changing, like weather changing from one meridian to another, like somewhere where it's really hot and tropical, having snow, like what's happening in South Africa, where they had a host of snow, which it was it was an I think they hadn't ever recorded this happening before. It also snowed somewhere in the Middle East as well. Um, you're having several cracks. We have a crack uh, that is. Um, in the middle of New York City that everyone's ignoring. We have a crack in Kenya. Um, I think Kenya in the middle of Africa going all the way up. I think it's Kenya, if I'm not mistaken, someone could correct me. Um, you have multiple shifting of the, G of the, of the, of the, of the ley lines and, um, and you're getting a lot of weather that is related to the pole shift, which happens always around reset. Okay, so for many years, you can kind of research this. They don't, no one talks about it because they, they want to distract you. Okay, I'm, I'm telling you, and there's a few people like Nancy Liger from Zeta Talk. Uh, obviously, you've heard of like a lot of your prophets like um, Edgar Casey talks about the pole shift. 
Uh, I think Nostradamus brings it up. I think Baba Avenga, who's from the sleeping um, prophet from Bulgaria. She was blind. She was blinded in an accident. So a lot of them talk about the pole shift and there's many others who've spoken about it um, in the um, ex esoteric community. They used to at least, but they've not talk talked about it because it's been highly hidden and the way that they keep you distracted, you don't pay attention to the ge geographical changes that are happening like astronomically right now. Right now, you're noticing that all of your different places, the weather's totally different. Places that normally be a little cool and, um, and you know, uh, you know, not normally wet or not. Um, the, uh, the weather is... Hold on. Um, places that are normally cool or hot now, places that are hot or cool, places that normally would be desert or getting wet. Everything's changing and because of the pole shift. So everything that was at the bottom goes to the top and top to bottom. Okay. And the pole shift is not just related to just the geographical changes within the simulation underneath the domes, multiple domes, right? Tiers of domes. It also relates to... Um, the pole shift happens to the dynamics, uh, the structural dynamics, social dynamics within the stratosphere, meaning that whoever was at the very bottom switches and goes back up. So it's like duality playing out um, within the the which in, within the construct of what happens within the pole shift. Okay, so you can kind of look at this. Remember, it started with. Uh, uh, if you remember, some of you were with me a long time, so I'll just remind some of you who are just newer to me. I'll remind you of the fact that, do you remember a time when, um, the birds had died? It was 2011. I was online. It was in, um, where was it? Uh, talk about this all the time. It was, was it in Tennessee? I forgot where it was. Um, the, remember it was like a whole bunch of blackbirds fell from the sky 2011 was on New Year. It was around New Year's. Okay, so that's the first when you knew that the geo, um, the geo, the ionosphere was changing because remember birds are uh, connected to sonar, like it kind of like, well they're you know they're very connected to the ionosphere. Like they can they can hear they don't hear but they feel the magnetosphere. Like that's what guides them to go north and south. Do you remember? I forgot where was the birds. Um, God, I talked about it every year. Anyway, it was the first time that we had actually witnessed, um, those of us who were in the pole shift mindset, we had witnessed something that was changing and it was affecting the black birds. Black, wise Because black is very, very absorbent of radiation. They would be the first uh, barometer of changes that were happening in the ionosphere and the black birds were highly affected by it. Okay, so uh, many of you remember that. Okay, now remember a year after that to the date, blackbirds again fell out of the sky um wait my voice my videos are not matching my voice do you guys not hear me properly tell me if you can hear me okay 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 um it got fixed okay i'm sorry about that i don't know you know, Willy Wonka, because I'm going to talk about the graphene coffee too. Okay, so uh, we're we're talking about the fact that the pole shift has affected the animals. And yes, um, I saw someone mention the whales. The whales were being beached at one point. I think also 2010 that happened at the end of the year um, where the, be the, be the whales were beached. Um, uh, dolphins also were being affected and, and shoring themselves coming on the shorelines as well. So after the 2011 and 2010 with the, with the whales, um, I'm not sure if it was the pilot whales or it was the sperm whales. I'm not sure. I don't remember the whales, but I do remember, um, the year after, uh, one year to the date, blackbirds fell out of the sky again. Now, how do we know that this isn't the Willy Wonka system? Because it was cylindrical, meaning that it was pattern based, meaning that because the because we're under a dome and it's ran by a program every year, it changes and we get exposed to a certain energy and it usually amplifies. So within that one, it was pilot. Thank you. It was pilot um, pilot whales within that year. Another year passed to the year to the date. 
another group of black birds was affected and why black it matters, you know, for people like, I don't see color, color matters. Black absorbs a lot of radiation more so. That's why I tell melanated people, you have to be very mindful because when they send frequency pulse waves out here, it really affects those with more melanin more, okay? You're, you're, you amplify, uh, everything is more amplified with you because remember black absorbs all spectrums of light. I talked about black being a color and it's just black and white is actually inverted. It's not the same, but just for the purposes of you understanding what I'm talking about, black absorbs a lot of radiation. Like even when I put my hand on a charger, because I have darker, I have copper skin, which is a super amplifier. My skin is very copper. Um, it amplifies and usually absorb the radiation. Okay, so I tell brown people, when you engage with uh, technology, and especially if you're plugging in your phone and you're holding it or you're sleeping next to it, you're absorbing all that radiation and you know all these weird kind of funguses and, you know, allegedly, are appearing when people are getting these weird kind of the C word, okay? Which, in my opinion, is a fungus, okay? And what does, remember when you watch Fukushima, when you saw what happened in Chernobyl, what did you notice about the fungi on top of those fixtures? You noticed that they were eating the radiation, right? So it gets amplified, okay? So it's very important for those of you to pay attention, whether you're lunar or brown or Asian, doesn't matter. But if you have dark hair or you have dark eyes and you have darker skin, you amplify, you take in more radiation than everybody else. Remember the boy who had a hole in his head? Um, remember they were doing experiments on 